Hey love, so it's your girl April and I promised to do a review basically on my favorite topic, hair filler fibers, which is basically to use if you have thin edges or balding spots. Now this here, um, you can pick this up at like Target.com or Sally's Beauty Supply Store as well. This comes in an array of different colors. I have the dark brown. You can either buy a very small little bottle if you are unsure for like five bucks and you can test it out. This one right here, this particular size, I do believe is like $25, but it does not come with this spray pump nozzle on the top. It actually comes alone. You can purchase this for an extra five bucks or you can buy the entire kit for $29, which comes with like this comb and a DVD and along with this here, a full size and and a uh, nozzle now if you don't get the nozzle you will have to distribute this with like a little brush I will be honest and tell you that I've had another brand called Viviscal which I picked up at Ulta which did not come with a spray bump uh, nozzle it also didn't have one to purchase alongside of it so I used my makeup brush to like fill in my edges which takes a lot of time really doesn't fill it in that great but it does work now with the topic, this is the only one that I use now. This nozzle is like a must have. It distributes so evenly, it makes the job a lot, lot, lot easier. Now a lot of people think that is this gonna come off? Is it going to melt? Is it going to run down your face? These hairs actually look like, like if I can show you guys. They remind me a lot of hair like if you went to a barber shop and you see someone getting their hair cut and they have like those little tiny hairs left on their back or their neck this is what the fibers actually look like inside so it's not liquid it's not like powder it they look like little tiny tiny hair fibers what this does is I use it for my edges because my edges are a little bit thinner so right now I have some on and I'm going to try to wipe it off. I do like to set it with my hairspray. You don't have to but what I do is I'll spray a little bit and then I'll set it and I'll brush it in. So right here I'm going to show you where it's lighter at. And you don't have to be too close. It all depends on your preference and also it all depends on the area that you're spraying. And I'll take my brush. And then I'll go back in just a little bit. And if any gets on your face, like I said, it's basically like hairs. So you can always take a dry cloth and wipe it off of your skin, like so. And as you can see, my hair is filling in and it's getting darker. Super easy. You can use some hairspray afterwards if you want to. A lot of guys use this in like their beards and their mustache just to make them look fuller. Or if you're balding, you have bald patches, then this stuff works like heavenly. I use this whenever I'm doing any of my wigs because like I said, in my frontal area, it is a little bit thinner and it's probably from wearing wigs for so long, but it does help my wigs blend in like seamlessly, especially to the front hairline area where I pull out a little bit of hair. You can always tell if I don't have this on so you'll see like the line of demarcation and I'm just gonna call it a line of demarcation because that's actually where the wig starts and then you can see like my hair so what I do is I always spray this you guys have seen me use this like in like millions of my videos um once I use this you cannot tell that I have a wig on you cannot tell where it begins or where it starts because of this so I love this stuff I use this in my hair all the time and you can pick it up like I said at Sally's or Target.com. So on that note I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review and as always stay diva and divalicious and I'll see you guys soon on my next video.